Hello and welcome to Railways Explained. As you've probably noticed, we cover China's railways quite often on this channel. We think it's obvious why. China's rail expansion and technology development is truly remarkable and continues to intrigue railway enthusiasts worldwide. According to China Railway, the country aims to expand its high-speed network by 25% by 2030. At the end of 2024, China's high-speed lines already stretched an impressive 48,000 kilometers. Over the next five years, they plan to add another 12,000 kilometers, reaching 60,000 kilometers in total. Meanwhile, the conventional network will grow by an additional 18,000 kilometers, pushing the overall Chinese rail system from 162,000 to 180,000 kilometers by the end of this decade. Passenger traffic is similarly on the rise. In 2024 alone, passenger journeys climbed by 10.8%, setting a record 4.08 billion trips. This figure is expected to increase to 4.28 billion in 2025, pointing to a consistently growing demand for fast, efficient rail travel. Today we turn our focus to what is widely considered the fastest train in the world. The new CR450 EMU from CRRC Qingdao Sifang Company. Officially unveiled by China Railway in December last year in Beijing, this cutting-edge train has a design speed of 450 km per hour and an operating speed of up to 400 km per hour. By pushing operational speeds well beyond the current 350 km per hour benchmark, the CR450 aims to drastically reduce journey times across China's already extensive high-speed network. In previous period, we have explored the evolution and genesis of Chinese high-speed train sets in one of our videos. If you are interested in learning more about how these trains have developed over the years, we highly recommend checking it out. Also, we would like to take a moment to express our sincere gratitude to all our patrons and YouTube members. Your support is invaluable and you are a vital component of our work. It is thanks to you that we are able to produce high-quality content and continue bringing in-depth railway stories to a global audience. Your contributions help us improve the channel, research fascinating topics, and share our passion for railways with the world. Now let's go back to the main part of the video. The idea for a next-generation Chinese high-speed train began to take shape in October 2020, when the fifth plenum of the 19th Central Committee of the Communist Party of China highlighted research and development plans for faster bullet train as part of the 14th five-year plan. In the following year, the CR450 Science and Technology Innovation Project was launched to study the core theories and technologies needed for 400 km per hour operation. By 2022, the overall technical parameters had been established, accompanied by extensive simulation calculations to validate the new train's design concepts. In June 2023, two comprehensive inspection trains containing CR450 intermediate cars were put through their paces on the Fuzhou Xiamen high speed line. During these trials, they reached a remarkable absolute speed of 453 km per hour and a record relative passing speed of 891 km per hour, an achievement that underscored the CR450's technological strengths. In December 2024, after three years of development, CRRC hosted a press conference at the China Academy of Railway Sciences in northeast Beijing to introduce two prototype train sets, the CR450AF and the CR450BF. Deliveries to China Railway are expected in 2025, with initial operations limited to 350 km per hour on existing infrastructure. By 2027, however, the CR450 will run on the new second Chengdu Chongqing high speed railway, allowing it to reach its full potential of 400 km per hour and reducing travel times between those cities to less than 50 minutes. 
In terms of design, the CR450 EMU is constructed using lightweight materials such as aluminium, carbon fiber and glass fiber, reducing the overall weight by 10% compared to its predecessor, the CR400. The train is composed of 8 cars, 4 power cars and 4 trailer cars, resulting in a total length of approximately 211 meters. It also incorporates a redesigned integrated bogey system that is 20% lighter than earlier versions, contributing to a 22% decrease in aerodynamic drag. Under test conditions, the CR450's brakes proved capable of bringing a 400 km per hour train to a stop at the same distance previously required at 350 km per hour, marking a significant milestone in safety and control. Engineers achieved these results by refining the overall aerodynamics, implementing permanent magnet synchronous motors to improve propulsion efficiency, and installing enclosed bogies to limit airflow resistance. These measures cut energy consumption by as much as 20% compared to older train sets. All these innovations point to a new era of high-speed travel considering that as the China continues to expand its high-speed network to an expected 60,000 km in next five years, trains like the CR450 will likely become increasingly common, helping to meet the rising demand for efficient, eco-friendly and high-capacity transport solutions. By pushing operational boundaries and refining every element of high-speed rail technology, China reaffirms its position at the forefront of modern railway systems. One of our viewers suggested comparing the CR450 with maglev systems. While maglev technology promises extraordinary speeds, it is still largely in an experimental phase for ultra-high-speed applications. In August 2024, China tested an ultra-high-speed maglev vehicle in Shanxi province, designed to reach up to 1,000 km per hour. This was the first full-scale trial in a low-vacuum tube, demonstrating stable performance, but practical deployment remains distant. Currently, most operational maglev systems function as commuter service, with speeds comparable to conventional rail. The Shanghai maglev, which has operated at 300 km per hour since 2021, is an exception while Japan's Chuo Shinkansen, expected to run at 500 km per hour, has been delayed to 2034. Meanwhile, China is developing a 48.7 km intercity maglev line in Hunan province, but its top speed will be just 160 km per hour, reinforcing the fact that maglev remains limited in large-scale commercial application. One of the CR450's greatest advantages is its ability to integrate seamlessly into China's existing high-speed rail network. Unlike maglev, which requires completely new infrastructure, the CR450 runs on standard high-speed rail lines with only some modifications to track alignment and signaling. This makes it significantly more cost-effective to implement. While high-speed rail construction generally costs between 20 to 35 million dollars per kilometer worldwide, maglev infrastructure is two to three times more expensive due to the complexity of guideway and station construction. Maglev requires fully dedicated rights-of-way and specialized facilities that are incompatible with existing rail networks, leading to significantly higher costs in urban and tunnel sections. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about railways around the world, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Your support helps us bring you more in-depth and exciting content about railway systems and their impact on global connectivity. If you'd like to support our work directly, consider contributing via PayPal or becoming a member of our Patreon community where you can access exclusive content. Every bit of support goes a long way in keeping this channel on track. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video on Railways Explained.